Steelers Nation, get ready for a video that dives deep into the heart of controversy and roster moves that could reshape the course of the season. This is no ordinary update. It's about a contentious win and a surprising cut that's sending shockwaves through the Steelers community. If you're strapped in, hit that like button because we're about to unravel the twists that'll keep you on the edge of your seat. Let's jump in. But before we get to the roster shakeup, let's talk about a Week 10 clash that's left Steelers fans buzzing. A victory that, despite sparking joy, has ignited a firestorm of controversy. Did Coach Tomlin have an impact on a crucial call? Stick around as we dissect the plays, the controversies, and hear what former officials and players have to say about it. Now, let's unravel the first piece of this gripping Steelers saga. Steelers win sparks controversy. Did Coach Tomlin sway refs? In a Week 10 clash, the Pittsburgh Steelers secured a hard-fought victory against the Green Bay Packers, pushing their season record to 6-3. Yet the triumph has stirred controversy due to contentious decisions by officials favoring the Steelers. NFL officiating has faced ongoing scrutiny this season, with Steelers fans feeling its impact in previous losses, notably against the Jacksonville Jaguars. On the Steelers' 12-yard line, quarterback Kenny Pickett's pass to running back Jalen Warren turned chaotic. Warren failed to secure the ball, leading to a fumble swiftly recovered by the Packers. The dispute arose over whether the pass had traveled backward or remained parallel. The Call Controversy Initially ruled an incomplete pass, Packers head coach Matt LaFleur challenged the decision. Surprisingly, the call stood prompting questions about the lack of clear evidence for the ruling. Lafleur argued the play should have been a lateral fumble recovery, while former official Gene Steratore defended the thorough examination of camera angles. Kaysian Nixon, Green Bay's cornerback, added fuel to the controversy during a USA Today show, claiming Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin's influence on the referees played a pivotal role in the decision. Nixon's take. I just remember the Steelers' head coach saying something to the refs. Whatever he said, it really influenced the refs. And they went with that call. Former referee Dean Blandino asserted that the play should have been ruled a fumble, or at the least, reversed upon review. Despite the controversial call favoring the Steelers, they failed to capitalize, eventually punting the ball. Nevertheless, the team maintained its lead at halftime, avoiding a potential setback from a turnover. Warren's highlight. Amidst the controversy, Jalen Warren showcased a breakthrough performance, achieving a personal best by surpassing 100 yards in a single game. His impressive efficiency, averaging 6.73 yards per carry and a 16-yard sprint for a touchdown contributed to the Steelers' success. But hold on, it doesn't stop there. The Steelers are facing criticism for something that goes beyond the playbook. The handling of T.J. Watt's concussion has stirred up quite a storm, and the question on everyone's lips is, could this have been avoided? Let's dig into the details and explore the repercussions of a delayed revelation that's sending shockwaves through Steelers Nation. Steelers face criticism for delayed revelation of T.J. Watt's concussion. The Pittsburgh Steelers faced backlash as news emerged that outside linebacker T.J. Watt was diagnosed with a concussion days after the team's game against the New England Patriots. Watt entered concussion protocol the day after the game, reporting symptoms upon arriving at the facility. NFL analyst Warren Sharp compared the situation to a past incident with the Miami Dolphins and criticized the Steelers for not promptly assessing Watt's symptoms. During the Patriots game, Watt took a knee hit from running back Ezekiel Elliott in the opening drive. Despite a brief check of his mouth and jaw on the sideline, and later entering the medical tent with a concussion observer, he was not initially diagnosed. Sharp highlighted the Steelers providing Watt with a dark visor during the game, noting that he usually warms up with the same visor. Both Watt and Alex Highsmith are currently in concussion protocol, with their availability for Week 15 dependent on clearing the protocol. If not, Marcus Golden and rookie Nick Herbig may step in as outside linebackers for Pittsburgh. If you're as intrigued as we are about what's happening in the heart of the Steelers, hit that like button to show your support. And hey, if you're not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now, ring that notification bell, and join us for the inside scoop on everything Steelers. We're in for a wild ride, and you won't want to miss a single twist. Let's dive in, Steelers fans.